There we go. Somewhere something unlocked. There we go, guys. Oh my gosh! Good morning, everybody. Fevernini here, and welcome to a game called A House for Alyssa. So basically, this game is about this girl that is a social worker, and she decides to go check out this family, and they are creepy. Did I mention that this game is also made by the same person with the jiggle physics from Pinocchio? Check out the video if you haven't. Anyways, let's go ahead. No, don't skip the intro and get into it. That's actually kind of what made me interested to play this game. Not for the jiggle physics, I promise. For just to see like what else they made. So I'm guessing that's Alyssa. Hey, can I move around? Oh, 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 hi. What the freak are you? Who are you, stranger? Hello there. Okay, hi. Hello. I want to ask you something. Have you ever had needles under your fingernails? Gosh, you're creepy. <laughs> I... I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Ooh, I see. But I'm not a stranger. I'm a friend. I want to be your friend. Alessa. <laughs> you're so creepy. How do you know my name, mister? Who are you? I'm Mr. Bob. Your new best friend. I... I already have friends. No, thank you. Really? Then why aren't they playing with you right now? Why are you playing all by yourself? I... they... Why are you lying, Alessa? I know you don't have any friends. Your parents don't even care about you. Who is this man really coming up to poor little Alessa? And just come and just like roast her entire existence and lives. What the heck, man? You're all alone in this sad and very, very cruel world. I better go back home. Home? You ha I have a better idea. Why don't you come to my house? You can be part of my family. We'll never leave you alone. We'll play every day. It will be fantastic. Mom! Mom! Daddy! Help me! Stranger! Danger! Stranger! Danger! <laughs> I... Oh, that's creepy. I know your parents aren't home. Why do you keep lying? Do you know what happens to children who lie? They get eaten by monsters! Oh my gosh! That was all just a dream. Hey, is that Alessa? Oh, that dream again. Oh, man. That is terrifying. But back to sleep. <laughs> just kidding. No, not a dream. A memory. That man, Mr. Bob. I barely managed to run back home and escape from him. He didn't chase me, though. I saw my parents, and they didn't even believe me. I guess the mention of Mr. Bob's inhuman appearance didn't help either. Just my imagination, they said. Anyways... I need to calm down and stay focused for tomorrow. There's no point in getting stressed over something like that. Happened 18 years ago. Oh, wow. 18 whole years ago. I can understand why you would remember that. That is a traumatizing experience right there. Hopefully nothing bad happens and hopefully she doesn't meet up with Mr. Bob again. Haha. <laughs> nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I've been assigned a new case, a potential situation of child neglectment. An old home in the outskirts of the city and a family that never leaves their home. Interesting. They wanted me to come with a cop, but I refused. Families don't react well to the presence of cops. If they see me alone, it might be easier to gain their trust and have them cooperate. I mean, I understand that. Like, definitely, like, cops make people more tense. But at the same time, for your own safety, you know? Just some questions, and I'll leave. I just need to check if there's child neglect at all. Yeah, that's very important. Very important to make sure that the children are okay. But still, it's very dangerous to go in without a cop or like at least some like at least call the cop and have them sit in the car in the corner somewhere and keep a lookout or something, you know? House number 446, there should be flowers outside. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's so crazy. Like, this is made by the same creator of um Pinocchiora. And like the whole models look so different. How strange. Especially no jiggle physics. Not that I was looking forward to it or anything. You gonna answer it? It's like, that's me. Hello? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> really call the payphone just to laugh in my ear? Oh, what? The freak? Um, I guess they hung up. Okay, let's go on to the house. This is 443, uh, 446. Okay, let's go ahead, head over there, and this one should be it, right? 446, let's go. Oh, there is Jiggle! <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and continue. Ooh, even the house. Yeah, the house is, like, messed up. Is that a reference to the Pinocchio? No, this game came before Pinocchio. What the freak? You got children or wooden dolls in the backyard? I mean, this is a big house. 
Here, let's just go ahead and knock the door. Hello? Okay, here I am. There's no doorbell, so I guess I'll have to knock the door. Makes sense. It makes sense, guys. That does not sound like a doorknob. It must be Jack. Who's Jack? Hey, Jack. What? Alessa, did you... Yes, Jack, I'm outside the house right now. Actually, I was about to knock on the door just when you called. What's up, Jack? Oh, okay, good, good, good. Are you sure you need don't need protection? I can send a... I'll be fine, Jack. Stop worrying so much about me. When I decided I wanted to become a social worker, I knew I had to be ready for all kinds of situations. I always managed to make things work out, remember? Uh, Jack, are you there? Um, the sentinel got lost. Interesting. Anyways, time to go to work. Let's not question it. Knock, knock, knock. Here to check on your kids. Make sure everything's good. It seems there's nobody home. Wish I do. Um, I feel like the good ending would just be to leave. Maybe I should come back tomorrow. Or I could wait in the car until they're back home. Anyways, I better go back to my car. Oh my gosh, a scream. Someone's in trouble. The kids, I need to do something. Break the door down. I'll call the police. Call the police, Nina. I need to call the police right now. Dang it. I should have listened to Jack. I should have came with a cop. Police. Police. No signal. No signal. What should I do? Yep. Run away. I'm really trying to find every possible scenario that's like, you know, <laughs> possible. I can't do much alone. I better get away from here and come back with police. Run! Are they going to come and knock me out? Someone's going to come and run and knock me out? Oh, I actually made it out alive. Okay. I'm surprised. I thought for sure somebody was going to go knock me out and be like, <laughs> this one gosh darn phone. Why do I keep picking it up? Leaving so soon. It's okay. I'll find you. I better get out of here and go call the police. I feel like you're at reach for a police phone right now. You can just call them right there. Is that the good ending that you actually, you didn't discover the mysteries of the house and you lived? I managed to contact the police and they went to investigate the house, but they didn't find anything. The house was empty. What a day, I need a shower. So what, are they gonna find me? Oh, this is probably a bad, <laughs> I like it. She's literally showering right now. They just got one big block over it. They're like, no, 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 no peeksy peeksies. What kind of video you think this is? Oh my gosh, don't get me while I'm naked. Who could that be? Maybe it's Jack. Oh, thank goodness I put some clothes on. <laughs> Jack, is that you? Yes, it's me. Open up, Alyssa. I need to talk to you, says Jack's voice. I'm not going to look in a peephole or anything. Let's open the door for him. Oh gosh, it's Mr. Bob. You? No, it can't be. Don't be scared, Alyssa. Your friend Mr. Bob is here. Wow, you're so creepy. Did he eat me? I think he ate me. Oh yeah, I'm dead. Skip credits. Yeah, let's go ahead and try to get a different ending. We got a coward. Ending A, I am not a coward. I'm not gonna take that sitting down now. No, 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 no. We're getting back into this. And they're not gonna call me a coward this time, guys, because I'm going to go straight in. Actually, Nina in real life is a coward, but I'm gonna go straight in and get to the bottom of this. Okay, so it seems that nobody's home. What should I do? This time we're gonna try again. Just keep knocking until someone answers the door. Come on, open it. Open up. Open up. Maybe I should come back tomorrow or I could wait in the car until they come back home. Anyways, I better. Okay, so it doesn't matter. We're gonna hear the scream of danger and we're gonna go and investigate it ourselves. Because that's what you gotta do, right, guys? You just gotta investigate it. I need to find a way to get inside the house. I saw this thing over here. Is that, can I get, actually get in? Yeah, the window's open. I can climb in, cool. Like I saw in like the corner of my eye. Let's go ahead, continue. Um, excuse me? Ew, what is this? Uh, I didn't expect that fall at all. Oh, it's pretty high up. I guess I can't go back out now. I'm just dead. I'm just dead, guys. An empty bucket. Oh gosh. Okay, so I guess let's just go ahead and figure out what's with the lighting. Is that, is that normal? It's locked with a key. Locked with a key? Everything's locked with a key. How secretive do you guys have to be? Let's just go ahead and keep looking. Up. Oh my gosh, it's another creepy doll. Yep, creepy doll. There we go. An old mirror. Shall I have a look at my reflection? What? Back? Backma. Okay. Oh, there's a thing right there. Two, two, four, three. And it's just like two random seats. A chair. A chair. Okay, so let's see if that's gonna come in handy later on. We got like a bunch of post uh, pictures on the wall. We're just really going through these people's house. So many dolls. 
This is a bit unnerving. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. A creepy doll. What is that, a typewriter? Ooh, that's the save mechanic. I love me a save, guys. So we're gonna come back to that room to save is what I'm guessing, what I'm putting down. This house is bigger than I- Why I thought that was an eyeball? Okay, thank you. A creepy doll. Is there anybody here? Like, I'm really going into this house. Excuse me? Should I be concerned? What the freak was that? Oh, I don't like that at all. What the freak? This is old. Is this just old whatchamacallit? Okay, it's empty. Let's just let's just continue just looking around. Oh, they just got all these dirty, like, all, they just left all their food on the table. Collecting flies. Oh, this is a empty hallway. I don't like this. It's locked with a key. Is someone gonna follow me down the hallway? Um, not yet. Locked with a key? Locked with a key. So secret. Oh, God! And who might you be? I'm Alessa. I'm a social worker. I, I need to ask you some questions about your children. We weren't expecting visitors. What a nice surprise. I am the mother of this lovely family. My husband is working. My children are sleeping right now, so please try to be quiet. I didn't mean to get into your house, but I heard a scream and I was worried. I apologize. Scream? Oh, don't worry, dear. That was just our children's new pets. Nothing to worry about. You wanted to ask me some questions, right? That sounds lovely. We can have some tea while we talk. I'll help you get comfortable. Oh! What? Help me get comfortable, you... What? Uh, she did indeed help me get comfortable. Where am I? What happened? Nice at home with the bloody atmosphere. Love it. Wasn't I just in a house just now? Oh gosh. Ugh, the little blood. Ugh. At least they left this part open. And they gave me a typewriter. You guys are so kind. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like this. I don't like this atmosphere. Like, this is what I get for trying to be nice and good to these children. Instead, I go get trapped in this creepy, like, family. Oh, there's a freaking bar here. I mean, I assume I'm in their basement. Oh my gosh. This is so... <laughs> the freak was that? I'm just gonna keep running. I'm just gonna keep running. You don't ask questions and stop. If there's something creepy that happens, you just keep running. You don't ask questions. What is that? A lever? Oh! Oh, it's a lever for that, that area back this way. Oh my gosh, who's always calling on the phone? I can't answer. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. That is not nice. That is not cool. I'm getting out. Man, like, really? Who built this, like... Like, I'm just wondering, who built this, like, basement? They, like, made this whole maze. This extravagant maze for why? <laughs> like, imagine building all these walls and the staircases. Uh, but also imagine having all these dolls everywhere. Like, I feel like that's also another concern. Like, who's really, like, made it their habit? Their, like, personality. They're like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna make dolls. That's gonna be my personality. It's gonna be what I do. I just put it all over my house. This ball. I had one exactly like this when I was a kid. Actually, I lost it the day I met Alessa. You came. I'm so glad. I'm assuming it's Mr. Bob. Oh, freaking, I'm cornered too? It's been a long time, but... I always knew you would come back to me. After all, I'll always be your friend. Oh my gosh, no, get the- Yeah, I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't do anything about it. Yep, that sounds about right. I, I just died in the corner. We're not, because we're friends. And what friends kill each other, right guys? Oh my gosh, uh, where am I? What happened? Was it just a dream? Huh? Oh, you're finally awake, good. The tea was getting cold, hee hee hee. Why am I tied? Well, don't worry about that. It's just to make sure you don't fall from the next chair. Accidents happen, you know. You need to be careful. Please let me go. The police and my co-workers know I'm here. They'll come looking for me, and you'll be in trouble. <laughs> oh dear, you're so funny. Anyways, I'm ready for the interview. Come on, let's begin. What's your first question? Should I play along? This person is absolutely insane, and she seems dangerous. Play along, insult, just straight insult her. Beg for your life, ask her to turn you into a Huh? Why is that option there? Why do I actually want to choose it? That's a better question. Ask her to turn you into a lamp. That's the only logical choice. Please, turn me into a lamp. A lamp? You want to be a lamp? Please, please turn me into a lamp. Okay, uh, if that's what you want.
A naked lamp too. Thus, Alyssa fulfilled her dream of becoming a lamp. This game is so crazy. Oh my gosh. Like, they really gonna turn her into a lamp. I got the lamp ending, guys. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna insult her this time. I'm, like, I'm just assuming that every like playing along will probably continue me on the path but i feel like insulting her will get her will get me killed so let's try it let me go you crazy bee how dare you i won't tolerate foul language in this house i'll rip that filthy tongue off your mouth oh oh she really gonna rip it out oh gosh oh she has my mouth open too oh ew her ew her ew oh she's actually cutting it off oh gosh yep Yep, that's what I get. That's why you don't insult your capture, guys. I mean, technically, you don't die from that unless you die from lack of blood. Oh, I'm, she just can't. That's my tongue. Why do they keep making me naked? That's my bigger question right there. Why do they keep taking my clothes? That crazy bee removed my tongue and sold my mouth. Oh my goodness, this has to be a nightmare. I need to wake up right now. And if it's not, then I need to get out of this house. Does it actually continue from here? This, what? It actually continues? Uh, who is that? Are you like me? Your mouth sewed up? Hello? She's letting me go? Cause there's just like something around her mouth. What? Why is she helping me? Is she a prisoner too? Okay, so this is just my life now. I got no clothes. I got no tongue. My mouth is sewed and this is just life. Tongue. <laughs> Did I pick up my tongue? Am I gonna put it back in my mouth eventually? I guess I'll just continue the other paths later and see what she does. Or should I just do that now? Let me actually see. Let me load a file. Because I kind of want to see what the other stuff does. Like, is that actually the way to continue? Or is that just going to a different ending? Oh, freak! I said, okay, so I was just skipping it. But it says, I, I said decided to play along, I guess. I, yes. First question, how many kids live here? Where are they now? I have three children. Two twin boys who make me very proud. And a 22-year-old girl who lives in the sun. The cellar? She just lives down there. Right now, the twins are in their rooms playing with their new pet. Although sometimes they are too playful and end up killing their pet. <laughs> what kind of pets do they like? They like women in their 20s. Learning them here is quite easy. I just offer them a babysitting job. The freak? Oh gosh, what kind of family is this? What have I gotten myself into? Next question, Miss Alessa, right? Yes, my name's Alessa. Okay, second question. Where's your husband? What is his job? Are you deaf? I told you my husband is working right now. He's an artist, a very talented one. He cares so much about us. He's a great father and a wonderful husband. I'm sorry, I forgot you mentioned he was working. Sorry, sorry, you're sorry. No, you're not. You think I'm dumb, don't you? An old fashioned housewife who knows nothing about the world. But I got news for you. I'm a wonderful mother and the best wife there could be. I care for my family, I care for my house, and no harlot will disrespect me. Please, I. Shut your mouth, you. Oh my gosh, I'm going to rip your dang tongue off. Oh, so no matter what, she's gonna come for my tongue. That is crazy. Okay, so instead, I'm gonna go ahead and beg for my life and see if she decides to cut up my tongue again. <laughs> Please, I beg you, let me go. Don't hurt me. Let you go? Let you go? Why would you let you go? <laughs> you don't want to be here. You don't like my house. You don't like my family. You think you're better than me, don't you? You came into my house just to disrespect my family and me, you filthy... Girl, what do you even know about me? You're not better than me. Please, I'm sorry. That was never my intention. I've had enough of your insults. You're not welcome here. I can't let you go, though. But I have an idea. I'll lock you in a cellar. And Greta will take care of you. She's pretty good at skidding people. Am I, is my tongue getting taken? Oh. I kept my tongue, though. That crazy bee. She put me in a dang cellar and she took my clothes. I need to get out of this house. She took my clothes and put me in this cellar, but at least she didn't take my tongue. So technically, this is a good ending. This is a good ending right here. I got my tongue still. But I kind of feel like maybe I should get my tongue removed and that's gonna be like a whole different ending. Are you letting me go? Interesting. Okay, why is she helping me? Is she a prisoner too? No, that's probably Greta. Maybe I should have, like, ugh, I don't know. Like, it feels so different, but let's just go ahead and continue and see where it goes from here. I need to find some clothes. Like, seriously, why do they take my clothes? It's one thing taking my tongue, okay, I get it. But, like, why do they take my clothes, too? <laughs> they really said, oh, you disrespected me? I'm gonna go ahead and t 
take off your clothes and make you shameful. Maybe that's the real reason right there. Like, it gives me shame to be naked. I should find some clothes first. No, just parade around in your birthday suit, Elisa. Don't worry, you're fine. You don't need clothes in this day and age. Greta is mentally unstable, so she can be very friendly or very... Reading her diaries might help you learn more about her. Okay. Oh, that's Greta. Okay. Diary of Greta. Dear diary, sometimes I lose control. There seems to be another Greta inside of me, a very naughty one. Okay, so she has like kind of split personalities. Um, dear diary, mother removed my tongue because I asked her if I could have real friends. Guess I'll have to stay here and play with my dolls forever. Oh, the, the dolls belong to Greta, okay. Diary of Greta. Dear diary, yesterday was my 22nd birthday. As always, I didn't get any gifts. Oh, so she's kind of mistreated here, huh? Diary of Greta. Dear diary, there's a woman in one of the cells. Mother removed her clothes. She looks like a nice person. I would like her to be my friend. Maybe if I help her, she'll become my friend. Otherwise, I guess I'll have to skin her. Just as mother ordered me to. Okay, so the game here is just to be friends. I can do that. And there's a nice outfit right next to her. Let's go ahead and check out Greta. Hey, Greta girl. I'll gladly be your friend. Try to hug her, shake her hand, kiss her cheek, ignore... Why not? Let's go ahead and kiss her cheek. That's the option it's on right now. You kiss Greta on the cheek. She's blushing. Oh, Greta seems to be more friendly now. Okay, so the kiss did it. The kiss did it. There's a white dress on the make hand. Would you like to take it? Is it okay if I take it, Greta? Oh, she's just loving it. She's like, yeah, do whatever you want. Thank you. And now I'm in a pretty dress. Aww. Thank you, Greta. I love you, Greta. You're amazing, Greta. Let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so do you want to try to get out of here or nope? Nope. Uh, do I leave? Is she going to follow me? Be like, my friend wants to leave me. She just used me. Oh, wait, what is that? A holy candle could keep this spirit away. What? What are we, where are we going? You feel an eerie presence in the room. Yup, I'm definitely gonna go in and just not, and just hope for the best. Oh my gosh. That sounds about right. They did say a holy, we needed a holy candle. They took my clothes again! <laughs> What's with these guys and stripping me of my clothes, man? Like, what is their fascination with Alyssa's body? Alyssa's dead and is your fault. Thanks. I take full responsibility. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead. Continue. And now we can finally go outside because we're fully clothed. Nice. Okay, so where are we? What are we doing here? What's going on? So many questions, so little time. I don't even know where we are. It's empty. Um, is there gonna be like somebody like the I'm gonna meet the, the two sons or something? A chainsaw? What is a chainsaw doing here? It seems it's broken. Aw. If my father saw me using something like this, he would be pretty mad. Who cares what you about what your father thinks? He's not here and you're in a dangerous situation. Is that a Oh, that's the tea from before. So this is the room from before. So Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, that's creepy. And settling and cool at the same time. I actually kind of like that actually. I lied. I kind of really like that. It added so much to the atmosphere. Okay, so let's just go ahead and continue. I really don't know where I'm going. Oh. Oh, so that's there's Greta. That's the creepy mother. And there's the sons. I'm probably gonna run into the sons, huh? Oh my gosh, as soon as I said that! Hey guys, can you wanna talk? Look, brother, another pet to play with. Let's sigh her up and remove her limbs. Then we can carve up her belly button. I just died. <laughs> I just died in like two seconds. Like everything was screaming at me to not go over there. But you know what? There is that one thing behind my mind. And they took my clothes. There was that one thing in my mind that was like, you know what? Maybe they're friendly. <laughs> Cause something about that screamed friendly. Yeah, I know she's dead and it's my fault. I know I got you. I got you. Let's just go back and continue. Maybe there's something down here. Is this a puzzle? It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. Okay, so is there like okay? So it looks like it's lining up with the colors up here. So I need to put the blue all the way to the other side. You see how fast my 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 smarticles work, guys? Already, I already knew what to do. 
and with this last one this should be the very this should be it and i should be able to get access to the next area let's freaking go and let's also save before we continue because you never know what's going to happen so you might as well save your progress guys might as well anyways let's go ahead and continue on over here and see what else is up in this area oh it's too quiet a little bit too quiet i don't like it sometimes when it gets like too quiet then usually something's about to come and attack me oh yeah and there's a long hallway yeah mr bob's coming just kidding i lied oh we're back here the freak um excuse me um i don't remember coming in here yeah this is all new Ugh, i don't like how loud that clock is and that's locked gosh dang it everything's locked with a gosh darn key is there anything in here there's a smell of death coming, coming from inside. inside sounds about right yeah so what's the point in being here just try to figure out what they want me to do oh wait i never came through here what the freak um hello oh, is that dolls in the background what is going on back there you know what none of my concern just keep walking just keep walking alessa the lonely lady beautiful as can be creepy sundays do need sadness a b c d the freak was there a code somewhere that i missed did i miss a code somewhere literally it just says a b c d did i come here oh wait oh gosh i've never been down here i'm going to save i'm off to go save i'm off to go save oh what the freak i haven't been in here either what the freak where did these people come from oh my goodness poor girl Ugh. Ugh. so she was she is what i could have been she is what i could have been i can't even get in there why would i want to go in there there's literally nothing over there Nah, yeah, sucks to be you could it be me though? Ha ha ha! What the freak is that? That is so creepy. A giant doll? Oh, it's just a doll. Oh, it's just a doll. It's not gonna wake up and be alive or anything, right? It's not gonna wake up and just start walking around. Oh, what is that? What is what is it? Why are you saying I am pressing Z and nothing's happening? Should I push it this way? No. Anyways, let's just continue. Ew, I don't like this. One of these dolls is gonna come alive and kill me. Bronze key. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. You dirty, dirty, little dirty, little dirty. <sighs> what is, why are you doing that? I don't, nothing's happening. Like, I'm literally trying to press it and nothing's happening. I don't know what's the point in that. Oh, well. Oh, someone's coming. Be careful. Oh, my gosh. That's... Is that Greta? My friend? Oh, that's what they wanted me to do that for. Oh, that was my friend. Greta, was that... Were you not my friend, Greta? I'm just going. I'm just going. I'm just going. I thought Greta was my friend. I guess not. Because she changed her mind. She was like, what the freak? Where did this girl go? And then she decided to kill me. It was a bronze key. Where did the bronze key go to? Well, first, before anything, you know what I gotta do, guys. Okay, so I did have to look into where the bronze key goes. And as always, when I look things up, I always just get straight to what I need and then just stop right there because I don't know. I don't I don't want any spoilers. But I did find out. The bronze key goes to this part in the kit. Oh, wait, what? That's not what I was expecting. I was gonna say use it in the kitchen. What is this? I was literally gonna go to the kitchen. I, are you deaf? Are you deaf? Great, <laughs> so there's a person in there. <laughs> Oh, I don't like that. Oh, my bones are breaking. Bones are shaking. Let's just go over this way. This is where I wanted to use it. <laughs> I wanted to come over here. Okay, this is why I found out you're supposed to use the bron the bronze the bronze key. 
Oh, that was a surprise. Okay, so now we're outside. What is all these dead bodies? Are these actual mm. pet one? Yeah, they're the pets. All the pets. Pet one. Wait, pet one. They're all pet one? That's sad. That is so sad. It was just a bunch of pet ones that they split up. Oh my gosh. What is this? A mechanism in a dark human place. What? Uh, candle? Is there... What is... Uh... What do I do? What? I only assume that you might have to go and press like a switch inside the house maybe? And I'm not entirely sure where in the house I gotta go. There we go! Use the bronze key! Oh gosh. Again, I had to look up where to go. I didn't know you can use a lot- use it in more places. Oh gosh. What the freak is this? I'm scared. I'm concerned. I'm confused. This whole thing. Oh, uh, where am I going? Oh my gosh! I don't like this. Oh man. Is this water? Am I in the sewers? What's going on here? They have so much. There we go. Somewhere something unlocked. There we go, guys. Oh my gosh! Found you! What do you mean found you? Get out of here! Is she gone? Is she gone? Is she gone? <laughs> you can't climb. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did not like anything of that. Can I come over here? Should I be coming over here? Probably not. Oh, there's more. Oh, what is this? Pompali? I, is, is this in a different language again? Well, let me just check my inventory. What items do I have? Shotgun shells! Okay! It wasn't like in a different language for just this brief second. Okay, so now we just need a shotgun. Are we gonna shoot them up, guys? Maybe. Loki, what they deserve. Got me in here, trapped down here. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna be strapped up. Just gonna find the shotgun, guys. And we'll be strapped. We'll be set. We'll be good. So let's go. Nice! Here we go! Now it's open. Let's go ahead and continue on and check out to see what else is down here. Like, we're just looking for a way out. And we're, like, literally uncovering... What the freak was that? Who's that? Silver key. Now oh, we got a silver key, guys. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What is that? It's locked with a key. Oh, we're gonna get chased. We're gonna die. We got a silver key. Oh, we're gonna die. Something's gonna come. I heard someone laughing. Kiki key. Oh, I'm scared. I am scared. Oh, man. Well, we're good. They just let us out. They kiki keyed and just let us out. Okay. Thank you. But, like, some doors are just locked. So we just gotta, um, just check it out and see. Use the bro- I can use the bronze key. What is this? If you had a videotape, you could play here. Oh, okay, so now we know we can go play a videotape over here. I like how we just have access to their house. Use the silver key! <gasps> Let's go! I haven't saved yet, so I'm kind of scared. Isn't that A, B, C? A, B, C, and then D, right? There we go! Oh my gosh! <laughs> It's too easy, guys. It's too easy. Now we can go down the stairs and go ahead and... Oh, what is this? Is, is this a shotgun? Do I get a shot? Oh, we got the holy candle. Now we can go back and go through that cursed area that we couldn't go through before. So let's go ahead. You feel an eerie presence in the room. Do, 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 do I have... Am I going to take... I'm pretty sure I'll just activate it when I need to activate it. So let's go ahead. What? The holy candle protects you from spirits! Oh my gosh, thank you, holy candle. Thank you. Let's freaking go. You dirty spirits thought you could take one on me. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Use the silver key. Why are there so many bones? There's just so many bones here. We have the golden key now. Okay. So now let's just go to every door and see what it opens up. That's simple enough, right guys? Simple enough. Okay, come over here. Can I, no, this way then. Use a silver key. Oh, silver key. What is this? My husband, oh, my husband keeps something in that locker. I don't know the password though, but I do. Maybe I'm your real, maybe I'm the real wife of the husband. 
I knew it was gonna come in handy, guys. I knew it was gonna come in handy. Let's freaking go. We got a videotape. Why'd the music stop? Oh, okay. I got so concerned. So is this their bedroom? Ugh. Okay, so now they said there was another area. I totally forgot where it is. But there's an area that you can go to to um, go listen to tapes. I have to just find it. <laughs> I can't remember where it is. There we go. Yeah, this is the area. Okay, so let's go ahead. Play the tape. Let's go ahead and see what we're going to sit here and watch. Like, we're just trying to find our way out. And we're literally... Is that me? Oh my gosh, it's me. Oh my gosh, it's me. My parents are always fighting. I hate them. I want another family. I want another house. Oh, so that's why she became a social worker. So that she that so that no other child would be put in her situation. That is so crazy. Yes, I remember that day, but who could have recorded this? They have always been watching me. It's Bob. Mr. Bob. There we go. We use a silver key. Ugh. Is this where you use the golden key at? Oh, I don't like this. Let me try it. Can I do anything? So many chains. There must be a way to open it. Ugh. A chainsaw. A clipper. Oh, man. I don't like that. What does that say? Greet the doll. Stop at the second chair. Greet the skeleton. Go self. Stop before the bones. Oh, do I have to follow this? Let me go ahead and take a picture. Okay. Is there any more to this? Stop at the second chair. Can you see it now? Oh gosh, let me take a picture of that towel. Just in case, guys, just in case. I don't know what it means. Let's just go. We're just gonna do it, and I'm hoping that it's gonna open up something. Is this is this sky forest sun blood sun forest sun blood sky Oh Oh I get it. Oh wait, what's down? We didn't go down actually. Save mechanic! Yes, please! Cause I might die a thousand deaths here. Can't go this way, so we gotta go this way. What about down? We didn't go down last time. What is this? My bowl, the one I had the day I met Mr. Bob. Why is it here? This cannot be. Does this mean that ball? We got a ball. I like how they were like ball. Okay. Um, okay, so it's gonna be like I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna take a picture again. <laughs> we got this, guys. We got this, okay? Blue, green, yellow, red. Blue, uh, yellow. <laughs> green, yellow. Blue, yellow. Is it just blue and yellow in front of me? Blue, yellow. Let's freaking go! Let's freaking go! But what was the reason to do that? What was the reason for that? What was the reason? Oh, is it for okay, good, 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 okay, good. <laughs> let's freaking go! Give me that save file and let's keep going. We big brain in this, guys. We big brain in this. Okay, so on to the other puzzle. Greet the doll. Stop at the second chair. Oh gosh, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Where's the doll at? I don't even see a doll here. The freak. Oh, greet the doll. Hey, doll. And stop at the second chair. What? Oh, stop at the second chair. Greet the skeletons. Okay. Right? And then go self. Greet the skeleton. And then go self, and then stop before the bones. What? Oh! Stop before the bones. Okay, wait, let's try the... It says, greet the skeleton, go self, stop before the bones. Go self? Oh! Then go to the second chair is that what they're talking about stop in the second chair can you see it can i go here now okay i did it <laughs> i think i was just confused a little bit okay i got it. i got it i got it i got it let's freaking go i don't know how i got it but i got it let's freaking go what is this shoot 
I got a shotgun. I'm strapped up. I'm ready to go. Let's freaking go. Oh my gosh. Let's go. I could use a shotgun to open the main door and get out of here, or I could take revenge and kill this family of freaks. <laughs> do I leave or do I commit murder? I feel like there's a wise choice between those two guys. Although I wouldn't like to kill Greta. Yeah, I don't, I don't, like, don't want to kill Greta. Greta's our friend. We like Greta. Okay, let's go back and save and see what we're going to do. Is this the front entrance? I guess this is the front entrance. I'm like, I'm ready to go. Ch -ch -ch Boom! Clear my way out of here. Let's freaking go. I could escape or I could tell Greta to escape with me. Let's escape first and then I'm gonna go do the Greta ending. Wait, let me do that first real quick. Cause I like Greta. I actually like Greta. Like she, even though she tried to attack me that one time, I think it was just out of, out of a sequence, you know? Oh. And that's how I managed to escape. Please, Jack, you have to believe me. I want to believe you, Alyssa. But the police checked the house and it was empty. No one has been living there in a long time and there was no corpse at all. It has to be a trick. There's something phenomenal going on or paranormal going on. I'm sorry, Alyssa, but you'll have to see a cycle. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you won't be able to work for some time. You don't believe me, don't you? You all think I'm crazy. Actually, there's someone who believes you. A potential wit. Is it Mr. Bob? Really? Is it Mr. Bob? He wants to speak to you, Alyssa. I'll tell him to come in right now. It's Mr. Bob, isn't it? Sir, you can come in now. Freak you, man. Freak you! No, 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 you! It can't be! Don't worry, Alyssa. I'll take care of you forever. Jack, do you not see this? Do you not hear this man? Jack. Jack. Really? That's a bad ending. Okay, so I got another ending called Escape. Let's go ahead and do this again. This time, we're gonna go ahead and get Greta to escape with us. Greta, I found a way out of here. One of your actions might change the ending you get, so you might wanna back... Tell her to escape with you. Can I actually kill her? I'm gonna say, I already backed my file up. So I'm gonna say, tell her to escape with you. Come with me and let's escape together. Greta accepts and she will escape with you. Oh, <gasps> we got Greta! Let's freaking go! We got Greta on our side, let's go! Okay, Greta, come with me. Don't betray me, okay? Oh, nice, okay. Let's go, Greta! Me and you, Greta, let's escape out of here! Okay, yes, we good? We good? Let's see what happens. It has to be a change. You gotta believe me with Greta with me, right? Be like, this is the child. Oh, okay, I contacted the police. We should have news soon. Don't worry, you won't have to go back there. We'll start a new life together. Me and you, Greta, me and you. Anyways, let's take a shower. That should relax us. Let's freaking go. I like it just like one big blurb. Like, shield your eyes, children. You don't want to look at this sight. What Nina and Greta's doing in the bathroom is probably very family friendly, but we're just going to block it off just in case. <laughs> oh, man. Or not Nina. Sorry. Alyssa. Alyssa. That's not Nina. That's Alyssa. Nina would never, you know, end up in a situation where she could die. Exactly. I knew it. I knew it. Greta, what are you doing with that knife? Yep. Yep. Nina would never end up in a situation like that. Dang. Dang. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is so freaking crazy. Friendship, the friendship ending. We got the friendship ending. <laughs> okay, guys, so now you know what we gotta do, guys. Now you know what we got to do. We're gonna go find every single one of them and, and kill, kill them. them. Hey, Greta. There we go. Actions might be changed. Let's go ahead and boom. Sorry, I ain't sorry. I ain't sorry. I ain't sorry. You did this to me. I'm going to do this to you. Revenge. <laughs> Aw, that's actually kind of sad. She's dead. That's actually really sad. Let's go ahead and save, though. <laughs> Hello, twins. I've came bearing a gift for you guys. Look, another pet. Wait, 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 what? Oh, eat this. <laughs> Is it freak you guys? Dang. Nina got the aim. I mean, I think you just needed to do it twice, but like she got the aim. She went boom out of here. Dang. Oh, so she also cut. She said shot to the face, shot to the face, and 
shot down there. Die where you stand. So, where's the rest of them? Where's the rest of them at? Oh, you see their faces are scribbled out. So where's the where's the mom at? Okay, so I think it is down here. Uh, again, had to do a quick look see up to see where she was hiding. It looks like she was hiding down here. Like I came down here, but I was like, I don't want to bother. So that's where the golden keys for. Oh, I never even tried to come back through here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's have this face off. What's good, mommy? I got something for you. You again? I'm tired of seeing your ugly mug. Time to put an end to this. Oh, freak you. Yeah, it is time to put an end to this. Right here, right now. Never mess with a social worker. That's right, Alessa. That's right, you tell her. Dang. Step on her grave. <laughs> the disrespect. Anyways, let's go ahead. Continue. You use the golden key. Oh, gosh. Mr. Bob? No, it cannot be. He's the father? I'm surprised you didn't put that together. Then again, I feel like since I'm in the game, I'm, I'm playing the game and I understand. Anyways, yes. Connect two and two. Mr. Bob is the beautiful, uh, the father of this beautiful household. But what do I do now? Like, where's Mr. Bob at? I killed up the rest of his family. Where is he at? Hello? So the last thing we got to do in order to find him is to go all the way back to where the little twins were. Yep, we're just gonna go over there, that place that was barricaded before. Now that we killed all of the family, it's now open. Now we can go to the next phase. And I can only assume we're about to meet Mr. Bob up here. So let's go ahead. Oh my God, I think sometimes they switch from to the other languages. But anyways, we open it with the golden key, I'm guessing. We walk forward. All these cursed dolls. And I think we're about to do one final showdown against Mr. Bob himself. Warning, having the ball and holy candle in your inventory will change the ending you get. If you want a really bad ending, discard those items. So I'm guessing it's a good ending or a bad ending. So we're going to go ahead, do not discard it. And I think we're going to come back and discard it the second time. So do not discard. We're going in stocked out with a shoddy holy candle and the ball i don't know what the ball's gonna do but we're stocked up what's good mr bob what's good come at me come at me go ahead go ahead oh wait, i'm supposed to make the first move what's up mr bob alessa you killed my family <laughs> thank you <laughs> i was growing part of them <laughs> this guy he probably wants alessa to be his new wife uh what a coincidence huh of all the houses you could have sent to you were sent to mine. Maybe I was the one who called social services. Ha, <laughs> a wink. You have always been watching me. What do you want? Why are you so obsessed with me? It's not obsession. It's called friendship. I just wanted to make you happy. Is that your idea of friendship and happiness? I don't have happy. I don't have ideas. I don't have plans. I only act. And speaking of acting, I think it's time for the main act. Um... The holy candle, along with your strong will, allowed you to repel Mr. Bob's power, destroying him for good. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Maybe you shouldn't have holy candles inside of your house. <laughs> Literally, I, I got all these items from his house. And he's dead. And we got a good ending. We live to tell the tale. A strange light transported Alyssa outside, where she watched as the house began to crumble. Mr. Bob and his family has been defeated, and Alyssa managed to survive. She probably wouldn't tell anybody because she did murder her whole family. But, you know, I think this is the happiest of endings it could have ever gotten, you know? And that's how I managed to escape. Please, Jack, you have to believe- Why are you telling Jack this? I want to believe you, Alessa, but the police checked the place and they didn't find any corpse. It has to be a trick. There's something phenomenal going on. Paranormal going on. I did that again. I'm sorry, Alyssa, but you will have to be checked out and you won't be able to see- And you won't be able to do work for a while. You don't believe me, don't you? You all think I'm crazy. It's hard to believe a story like that. Fine, I want to go back home now. I mean, at least Mr. Bob's not here. This is actually the goodest of endings. I managed to stop Mr. Bob and his family. They'll never hurt anyone again. This is good. And I'm taking a shower. Let's go. A shower victory shower, basically. <laughs> okay. I think this is the best ending that you could get in this game, at least. Not best for Mr. Bob and his family, but 
best for Nina, you know? Ending F bravery. I love it. And now let's go ahead and destroy that and get the bad ending. <laughs> So let's go ahead and discard the items and see what ending we get if we don't have our protection and we don't have our will to continue, I think. Okay, let's go. Me, you, Mr. Bob, let's go ahead and see what it changes up. <laughs> dot, 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 what a coincidence, you came to my house. What are you, what do you want? Are you even human? Why must everything have an answer? I'm me and that's all. Who cares about humanity? About humanity anyways. I just want to make you happy. Is this your idea of happiness? I don't have ideas, I have plans. And there he comes, acting on his plans again. This time, probably killing me. He did make me into his new wife! Do you like your new body, Alessa? <laughs> oh, we're going to have so much fun together. We'll be best friends forever. <laughs> Ooh, better close that mouth though. Okay, we're not gonna skip it. We're gonna go ahead and let the credits roll as we end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely let me know what you guys thought about a house for Alessa. I feel like Mr. Bob is the creepiest of creeps. And shout out to AV Dolso. Literally making um I really like the games that they made. They made the Pinocchiora and then they made this one. I'm actually really liking them. Like the story and the scares. And the puzzles aren't that bad, actually. But anyways, definitely let me know what you guys think. But for now, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Nina, out.